Hi, it's Cayman Reynolds, and we have this awesome honey production hive, but they're superseding their queen. It's the tail end of our flow. The pollen diversity and quantity is going down, and brood production is starting to go down a little bit. So this happens sometimes, and this is her second season. That's old for a queen, especially the further south you go where the queens lay longer. So what are we going to do in this circumstance? What a great colony. Look at that honey. We have quite a few bees in this box, so she's worked wonderfully for us but the bees have decided that she's not needed anymore brutal let me put this back in here and i'm going to show you what we discovered i was going through a couple of them making sure that they had room this is another beautiful colony that's her sister right there they're very calm bees and of course when there's a honey flow going on every bee's on their best behavior too busy to pay attention and this one has four boxes already filled and this is a foundation box of this from this year and they've got it at least three quarters of the way drawn so I was checking to make sure there wasn't any swarming going on on this last push and I was going through here and I found this over here so I pulled these out of that large colony there's no eggs or young brood and it, no I put them towards the inside because it's best to put them towards the inside and you can see that there is a cell down here. Well, just because it's at the bottom does not mean that they have swarmed. It doesn't mean that they're going to swarm. There's a good bit of capped brood and bee bread on this frame. We're going to check the next one over. And we should have a couple on this one as well. Maybe I did not put them towards the, the center. Hmm... There was one on here. I'm pretty confident unless I put the wrong one in. Yeah. <laughs> this is a good frame though to give to a split because it's going to be emerging before too long and we want these splits to be strong. There it is down here in the corner. So whenever I give them a, uh, a queen cell from a situation like this, whether it be a swarm or a supersedure, I like to give them two because occasionally something happens to that queen cell. Sometimes it's the beekeeper, sometimes it's the bees. They don't, not all the cells they make are perfect and things happen. So that's a split right there. I just need to give them some food because there is not hardly any food in that hive at all, except some bee bread. So they need some energy like honey. And now I'm going to jump into here and show you a couple more things. So we have, if we can see it, there they are, cells all up in here. Put one there, that's a cup. This one's already been opened. That's a small one right there. Here's a few more right here. And the reason I believe this is supersedure is one, the population has not dropped at all. I'm also seeing where it looked like the brood pattern was getting a little bit smaller than I would have liked. She performed really good early in the season, but she's starting to uh, decline just slightly. Um, there's an assassin bug on this boss, uh, box right here. And since I'm the boss, I'm fixing to assassinate the assassin bug. All right. Um, children hide your eyes no we um i have some people that came in you know they need to live too well we have super large populations of predatory insects and other creatures that love bees because there's a smorgasbord year around here so we actually have created very high populations of them all right back to the topic at hand so what do we do with this colony first of all we could just leave it and let them supersede themselves. I saw a virgin earlier and I went, Laurel, Laurel, come on out here. We got to we gotta see what these bees are doing and share it with everybody. But um, she's running around somewhere here. So she's going to go around and kill those other cells. I've already seen where she's taken one cell out somewhere in here. Quite a good population of bees as you can see. And so what I want to do in these situations is give myself some insurance. This was a phenomenal queen. She's done a great job. I'm gonna get 100 pounds of honey off of this girl. Very good disposition. They've been opened up for almost 20 minutes now because of prepping the camera. So I would really like to make some of her daughters and um, at least get one. 
So we're gonna leave a couple cells in here. That one frame that had multiple ones, that's the one I'll leave. Plus there's a virgin queen floating around in there somewhere. Likely what happened is they either one killed the queen, sometimes the bees will off the queen themselves, or they'll raise super seizure cells that virgin or virgins will hatch out of the cells and then they will go and kill the older queen and then start going uh, all uh oh i lost it some type of epic movie anyways so anyhow i'm going to dig through here we're going to make some splits this is where these jester boxes are really fancy and nice because they're lightweight easy to transport and it is a hot day today I'm going to check a couple more frames. I have not been into these four, but not every time are the bees going to bring a queen back. So we need to plan on that. And so giving them a couple extra opportunities would be best. Ah, check this out over here. So we have that. See how it's sawing like that? That those queens will have sawn themselves out. So there's some virgins around here. This one still has a cap, but doesn't have anything in the middle. Likely, one of her sisters got out of the cell, went over there after she drank something and stung her. I wonder if we can find a virgin in here running around somewhere. There's probably more than one at this point. This is all happening today. Oh my goodness, look at these. Strong colonies make a lot of super seizure cells. Yeah, why not split this again? We're at the tail end of our flow. It's not going to hurt our honey flow at all. The biggest thing we got to worry about is are we going to give enough bee coverage to maintain this? Not only do they need to have enough to keep the cells warm, they have to have enough to patrol and protect from small hive beetles. And since we're heading into a dearth period, they're gonna need resources. The flow's just fixing it in. But there's a special flow going on right now with this late sweet clover, and you can smell it wafting through the boxes, and that's why the bees are so gentle and they're not robbing. It's amazing, but in about seven to 10 days, it's gonna be robbing central around here. Bummer. But I wanted to share this clip with you. It's a great colony. I'm just going to do the same thing that I did to this one over here. Two frames. I want at least one good frame of brood. A frame, another frame would be great. At least two queen cells. You don't have to give them five or anything like that, but two's good just in case one of them's not good for whatever reason. Maybe it just got stung and you didn't see it or something like that. And then ideally we give them a frame of sugar syrup or honey. If we have, you know, obviously we're not feeding, so it would be a frame of honey right now. And then I'm going to give them two frames of foundation and stick that off somewhere about 20 to 30 feet minimum away from these big colonies um, because we don't want that virgin queen coming back and getting confused with all these other hives. They're usually pretty good about finding their way back, but it does happen. So we'll set them to the side. I won't bother this colony for at least 18 to 21 days. And I'm also going to put a one quart jar. I'm going to cut out this hole and I'm going to give them a quart of feed and just the one. And then when I come back in 20 days, we are either going to have a queen or we're not going to have a queen in here. If we do, we'll keep feeding them and they'll be their own colony. And if we come back to this colony at the same time and there's no queen, well, then we can paper combine that one back in and we haven't lost anything. Actually, we've gained something. We have a very fresh queen and we're, we've reset everything, which is awesome. And if we end up making more splits which we're going to i'll probably end up making one more so i'll have the original and two others there's a good likelihood i'll get at least two out of three sometimes three out of three and then we'll have extra queens and reserve bees and can you have too many bees laurel no 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 no. you can't have too many bees you can't have too many bees um anyways so that's what we're going to do and if they don't have a queen we combine them back paper combined um, the bees are going to get old. They're going to want to go lane worker eventually. So we'll just combine them back. And that's how we do things. So timing's important. This just happened to be a fun little trip into the bee yard. And this is very normal. This happens a lot. So if you're not getting into your bees at the end of your flow to the early parts of dirt, that's actually when most of your colonies decide to requeen themselves for the year. 
by and large. So a lot of times it happens and you don't even know. So anyhow, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.